uh, funded by the 2023 bond. This is a new middle school to serve um, the students in South County. So the boundaries have already been established. So that's the good news. We, we don't have to go through a boundary drawing process. It's already been defined and more information about that can be found on the CMS website. But uh, we just completed a long rezoning process and we're given the green light by city council and we're grateful for that. So we're proceeding to close on the property and then we'll move swiftly into development. Right now we're planning on an opening in August of 2026 for the students who will attend new middle school number one. So the land is uh, it was owned by the Cato family and so there were 125 acres. Um, we had first actually approached the family about uh, the land back in the early 2000s and um, they've been very good and very generous to us over the time. Uh, Polo Ridge Elementary School is on Cato family land. Um, and you know, the timing just wasn't right, but uh, there was an opportunity here again. And so we were able to, to go under contract for the 20 acres that we needed. A private developer got a contract for the balance of the site. And so we um, submitted a joint rezoning because the rezoning was necessary in order for us to buy the land. We have to be able to build what we wanna build on the site. And so we've just accomplished that and we're moving into uh, design and construction. This is a middle school, which means grades six through eight. It's a nominal 1200 student capacity. So 54 classroom baseline middle school. Um, it's gonna have a synthetic turf field and um, all the other amenities that we would provide to our, our typical middle school, despite being on a very um, small site. So that's another aspect of building in Mecklenburg County right now is we've got to be thinking about living and operating in an urban environment. So we're building the school and, and all of its amenities on 20 acres. It's, it's tight. And we call it new middle school number one because we don't want to accidentally assign a name to the school. The, the board has its own process for naming a school. And as we get closer to opening and a principal is named, they'll go forward with their naming process, identifying a mascot, all of those pieces and parts. But for right now, we're just calling it new middle school number one.